Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people reveal perfectly legal things that feel illegal. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Having something of yours in your pocket while in a store that also sells that thing. <gasps> I have the same thought, you know, like whenever I go back into the store after buying something from the store, it just feels weird again, you know, <laughs> like in my mind, I'm like, what if they think I stole this? But like, I actually bought it ages ago, you know, or like, you know, when someone checks your bag after you leave, I always think, oh no, what if the thing just magically appears in my bag and then they find it there, you know, <laughs> like you feel, you feel guilty even though you haven't done anything, right? It's just like seeing a police and all of a sudden you try to act normal, but you didn't even do anything, you know? You see a police and you're like, oh, gotta act not suspicious. <laughs> but that makes you even more suspicious. Filling out government forms. I answer honestly, but constantly feel like I'm going to misinterpret a question and somehow commit some manner of felony. I agree, you know? Sometimes I'm like, oh no, but what if, what if it's not the way that I think? You know, they ask you, are you sure this is true or something? Like, if it's not true, you can be held against something, something, something. And then in my mind, I'm just like, am I sure my name is actually Ellen? <laughs> like, am I sure? I don't know. Am I sure? Doing anything but in sight of a police car. Oh my gosh, this is what I just said. Why? Like, I don't know, man. Going into Costco, eating all the free samples, then walking out. <laughs> free lunch, yes. Bringing home a newborn infant. Wait, what do you mean? Why does that feel illegal? Are they bringing home a newborn infant that's not theirs? <laughs> Someone else's? Wait, why does this feel illegal? I don't get it. Ripping off a few bananas before you buy them from the grocery store if you don't want the whole bundle. Oh, I had no idea you could rip off bananas and buy them single. Can you do that? I thought you had to buy the whole bunch. What? You can do this? Oh, this doesn't feel right though. You can just buy one banana. <laughs> one banana, really? Can you buy like one grape too then? You rip off a grape? <laughs> Walking through nothing to declare at the airport and having a nagging concern that just maybe you managed to pack illegal things. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people feel this, you know? They're like, oh no, what if someone put it there, you know? What if? Turning the light on inside the car when you're driving. I feel like our parents told us this was illegal or something. Because I swear, whenever I was a kid, I would turn on the light, right? And then my dad would be like, don't do that! And I'll be like, oh my gosh, why? And he'll just be like, you get fined for it or something, you know? And that's what I thought for my whole life. But then I just recently found out that that's not the case. You can turn on your light inside the car. Huh. Marrying someone for their money. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, it's not illegal, but like that just sounds very wrong. Walked into an Ulta beauty store and spraying some expensive cologne from the tester bottle before going to your interview. Ah. I know people who do this, like every time before they go to work or something, if they walk past like a perfume store, they would just go in, get a sample and just spray and then go to work. <laughs> That's funny, honestly. Walking out from a shop without buying anything. This. This. I feel like when I do this, the people that see me walk out are going to think I stole something, you know? Because I just walked out without buying anything. <laughs> it feels weird. I don't like it. Buying alcohol for the first time when you turn 21. Oh. I've never done this before, so I don't know how this feels. <laughs> I don't drink, <laughs> but, uh, but I kind of want to buy it now to see how it feels. Do you think it feels illegal because the people there would be like, show me your ID. Are you really 21? Reading most all of a book in a bookstore and then putting it back on the shelf. Whoa, they read fast. They just read the entire book. <sighs> just sit there, you know, just chilling. Taking many napkins from a cafe restaurant and pocketing them to use as tissues. I had no idea whether this was allowed or not allowed, you know, but I just always see my parents taking heaps. 
I was always just so embarrassed. I would like go and hide first or like, you know, I would run out as soon as possible. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Going through a metal detector always gives me anxiety, even though I usually have nothing to hide. Usually. Usually. <laughs> Taking a free sample of food when walking past a food vendor. Obviously, they're offering it for free, and obviously, there are no laws being broken, but I just cannot help but feel guilty, so I stand there after eating said sample and pretend to deliberate if I plan to purchase a meal there or not before slowly walking away once I've lost the attention of the guy handing out the samples. <sighs> this. Or like, you know, when an employee follows you around and you want to buy something and you're looking at something and then they tell you the price and you're like, how do I pretend that I want it, but then I'll come back for it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, you're just like, Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'll just look around a bit and yeah, yeah, bye! Calling a teacher by the first name. Like, it's not illegal, but it's illegal. <laughs> That's weird. Calling a teacher by the first name? Oh, that sounds so weird. Teachers get offended by this too, don't they? Like, when a student calls them by the first name. Going into a store to use the restroom without buying anything. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't feel like this feels illegal, does it? Maybe for some people it does. I've never felt this way though. My little brother is the type of guy to crack open a Gatorade to quench his thirst, browse around the store, and then check out the empty Gatorade bottle at the end. <gasps> this, I didn't know you could do this, you know? I didn't know you could just eat something from a store or like drink something from a store and then pay for it after. I thought you had to pay and then you could eat it or drink it. I was so shook when I saw someone do that. I was like, they just grabbed the bottle and they just opened it. And I was like, what? You could do that? I thought they were committing a crime or something, you know? And then I low-key paid attention to them to see if they were going to pay for it or not. <laughs> I was like, oh, trying to lockpick my own house because I can't find the key. Oh, I have broken into my house before. Yeah. It didn't feel illegal though. I just felt stupid. But when I did actually break into my own home, I was like, holy moly, I'm good. <laughs> or like, I was just like, holy moly. If I can do this, then someone else can do this. I'm basically screwed. Marrying your first cousin. Wait, is that legal? <laughs> I had no idea. I just thought you can't marry someone who's your relative. Oh, I had no idea that was legal. Oh, that's weird. Is that first cousin really close to you though? Like, you know how you have a family tree and then the further down is like less close, right? But first cousin, isn't that like really close? So like, isn't that weird? Okay, that's still weird to me. I don't know. Taking somebody else's full cart of food at the grocery store. You can literally take anything from anybody's cart before paying. <gasps> no way. You can. So if you see someone's cart and they aren't there, you can just take it and check out if you like everything in that cart and you just can't be bothered shopping. <gasps> you can do that. That's such a jerk move though, honestly. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.